She's my trailer park queen, yeah. She's my trailer park queen. Hey, y'all. Here's Jolene Sugarbaker, the trailer park queen. Hello, Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Crafts with Jolene. You know, we're all living on a budget these days, and we're all trying to find ways to save money, and you know, I really like those scenty things, they really make my trailer smell good, and you know, they get you, you know, the, the little things that dispense it are like a dollar, and then they get you for the, the refills, uh, seven dollars for like the refills with the oil in them, and you know, that gets expensive after a while, and they say they last 30 days, I don't believe that, because I'm always changing them, and you know, I get the pop-up ones too, and I know there's people out there that say it's bad for your health, but I like a good smelling trailer, and I started thinking, you know, I bet I can save some money and make my own little uh, air fresheners. And I was walking through the mall and they had those scented oil things at the dollar store. They sell them in those mall kiosks or on the street too. And um, you can get your favorite scented oil. And I thought, let's make our own air fresheners and make it with gelatin. I'm going to show you how to make my gelatin air fresheners up next on Trailer Park Crafts with Jolene. Up next, I'll be right back. To make my gelatin air fresheners, you'll need a jar, or I like to use the baby food jars because they're smaller, or you could even use old spice containers, or pretty much any glass jar or decorative container. Two packets of unflavored gelatin. Your favorite color food coloring. One tablespoon of salt. Your favorite scented oil from the dollar store. This is bubblegum scent. Half cup boiling water. Half cup cold water. Making the gelatin air fresheners is super simple. Just take a half a cup of water and put it in a saucepan. It's best to use one that you don't really cook in uh, anymore because you're going to be using some scents in it and it could really uh, mess up the pan. But there's ways around that and you'll see what I'll do in just a moment. But go ahead and get that boiling. Now that our water is boiling, go ahead and take the two packets of gelatin and it's got to be the uh, non-flavored gelatin and put that in the boiling water and just start stirring that around now it's going to take up the, about five minutes until this all dissolves Today I'm using neon blue. You can use any color that you like and you can match it to the scent. You could have blue for ocean or uh, pink for the bubble gum, whichever works. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of the regular table salt in there. That keeps mold from growing on your air freshener. Okay, our gelatin has now uh, gone to the clear stage, so we can turn it off the heat and add the half cup of the cold water to it. That starts the gel process. Now, our gelatin has been cooked on the stove and I have washed out a baby jar, uh, food jar there, and I like glitter in mine, so I'm going to put a little glitter into the bottom of the jar. And, you know, you can fill it up as much as you want. I just like to fill it up right there to the line and pour it right into there. There we go. Now at this point, it is unscented. 
And, you know, if you used a pan that, you know, you don't use for cooking anymore, you could just add the scent right on in there. But I don't want to ruin my pan. I'm going to take bubblegum scented um, oil that I found at the dollar store, and I'm going to add about 10 to 20 drops. I go a little hog wild on the drops because I like a majorly scented air freshener there. There we go. There we go. Just pop that on top there. Now we're going to stir it. It's good to get the oil all in little, little teeny tiny beads. It gets distributed real nice into the air freshener. Be careful not to spill it all over the place too. Now, we're going to set this aside to cool. Don't put it in your refrigerator. Also, don't eat this at any time either. Now it takes a few hours for the, the gelatin air freshener to set up and it, it gets really jelly. Um, it's real nice and it smells nice too and you know it's, it, it's okay as is. Um, you can start decorating it with maybe some stickers or maybe some old Mardi Gras beads. You can start wrapping that around and uh, gluing that with some uh, space age glue or maybe some uh, flowers or maybe some jewels from the craft store. You could glue that on the outside, make it real pretty. If you have like a, a, a seashell theme in your bathroom, you could start gluing those on it and make that real pretty. Or if you're Indian or just like the uh, nature look, you could have some feathers on it like that real pretty or some some ribbon. What I did is I painted the top so I could give them away as gifts. Uh, real nice like that. Um, especially once you decorate it too. Uh, but just start gluing things to it and you're going to have a real pretty air freshener that you just can't get at the store. I mean really. And budget saving too. Today I showed you how to save money and kick the habit of buying those $8 refills for those air fresheners that, you know, don't last 30 days. And, you know, these industrial pop-up things don't compare to what you can make in your own trailer and decorate them real pretty like. And, you know, this is great. They smell good too and they make great gifts around the holidays for your friends. And, you know, you vegetarians could probably make one that's even safer for the environment too. I don't know, you can figure it out, but isn't this cute? So much more cuter than this, this industrial style. It would look so great on the back of your commode. Be sure to leave a comment down at the bottom so I know what scent you made yours. And you know, these are just great and they save your budget too. Speaking of saving your budget, be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm gonna bring some more tips to you soon and more cooking shows are coming up just around the corner. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Visit me on the web at jolenestrailerpark.com. I love ya. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Visit my store at jolinesugarbaker.com.